He focused on the importance of beating opposition leader Tony Abbott in the next elections in 2013. Beating Mr. Abbott is vital. Beating Mr. Abbott is doable, he said. Ms. Gillard, meanwhile, asked voters to look at her record. Australians can have trust in me that I am the person to get things done, she said, referring to Ms. Root's remark as that her leadership had eroded the trust of the people. She also stressed that she had worked on hard reforms in her time as Prime Minister. Talk is easy, getting things done is harder, and I am the person to get things done, she said. Syria unrest, Tunis conference seeks breakthrough. A major conference is being held in Tunisia to seek a breakthrough in the increasingly bitter Syrian unrest. The US, Europe and Arab countries plan to challenge President Bashar al-Assad to provide humanitarian access within days to the worst affected areas. But Russia and China, key allies of Syria, which have blocked UN resolutions against Damascus are not attending the Friends of Syria conference. Syrian State TV said the conference was a meeting of symbols of colonialism. Those attending it said were historic enemies of the Arabs. Activities say more than 7,000 people have died in the 11th month uprising, more than 90 on Thursday alone, and concern is growing over the humanitarian situation, particularly in the besieged city of Homs. The International Committee of Red Cross, ICRC, appealed this week for a pause in fighting to allow the aid to be taken in, but said it had received no response from Damascus. Around 70 nations, including the US, UK, France and Turkey, are attending the Tunis conference organized by the Arab League. They are expected to demand an immediate ceasefire on humanitarian assessment with a threat of further sanctions if ignored. Sonia Gandhi refuses tax disclosure. Congress party leader Sonia Gandhi has refused to furnish details of her income tax, citing security concerns, officials said. An activist V. Gopalakrishnan had requested the information under freedom of information legislation. But in her reply, Mrs. Gandhi said releasing the information might cause a financial and security risk. Mr. Gopalakrishnan denied charges of any political affiliation and said he will continue his efforts. In his query filed to the tax department last December, Mr. Gopalakrishnan had sought details of Mrs. Gandhi's income tax for the last 10 years beginning in 2000. This was done under the country's right to information legislation. But his request was turned down. He appealed and the income tax department was asked to send a notice to Mrs. Gandhi requesting the information. In her reply to the department, Mrs. Gandhi said the disclosure of such private information to third parties in guise of transparency in public life would amount to unwarranted invasion of the individual's privacy. She continued, there is no cause of bona fide public interest involved in the disclose such information to the third parties. The tax department said information sought had no overriding public interest and close request. V. Gopalakrishnan has a right to appeal. We'll move on to the business world. Volkswagen annual profits doubled to 15.8 billion euros. Profits have more than doubled at Volkswagen after the company delivered a record number of vehicles last year. It reported a net profit of 15.8 billion euros. It comes to dollars 21.2 billion for last year compared with 7.2 billion euros in 2010. It delivered more than 8.2 billion vehicles up almost 15 percentage on 2010. Volkswagen plans to spend 62 billion euros on new plants and models in the next five years as well as on research and development. It will also hire 50,000 more staff in the next six years. The company plans to be the biggest car maker in terms of sales and profits by 2018. 
To help reach that target, it has developed a new platform that will serve as a base for its small and large cars. Volkswagen was keen over recent weeks to remind investors of the costs associated with future developments. In particular, a new platform which should deliver cost savings up to 20% in 2013 and beyond, said Michael Tyndall, auto analyst Barclays Capital. But like other car makers, Europe's economic slowdown continues to be a drag on Volkswagen. Welcome to the world of science. Mild drought caused Maya collapse in Mexico, Guatemala. Relatively mild drought conditions may have been enough to cause a collapse to the classic Maya civilization, which flourished until the 8950. It was now southern Mexico and Guatemala. Scientists have long thought that severe drought caused its collapse, but Mexican and British researchers now think that a sustained drop in rainfall, only 25 to 40 percent, was enough to exhaust seasonal water supplies in the region. The findings were published in the journal Science. The research was conducted by the Yucatan Center for Scientific Research in southern Mexico and University of Southampton in UK. Scientists use advanced modeling techniques to estimate rainfall and evaporation rates between 8800 and 950 when the classic Maya civilization went to sharp decline. They found that the relatively modest decline in rainfall was enough to deplete freshwater storage systems in the Yucatan lowlands where there are no rivers. And in sports! Isenbeva sets indoor pole wall world record. Two-time Olympic champion Yelena Isenbeva broke her indoor pole wall world record at the Excel Gallon Meet Thursday, and Darion Robles won the 60-meter hurdles after Liu Kang was disqualified for false start. Isenbeva cleared 16 feet 5 and a quarter on her second attempt at Globe Arena, topping her mark of 16 4 and a half and a quarter set in 2009 at Donetsk, Ukraine. This was a real comeback, she said. This happened because of my dear coach, who made me realize that this is my level. Holly Bleasdale of Britain was second and Yarisley Silva of Cuba third, both clearing 15.5 half and a quarter. Isenbeva hasn't won at a major championship since successfully defending her Olympic gold medal in Beijing four years ago. She failed to make the podium at the World Championship in South Korea, finishing sixth. At the 2009 Worlds in Berlin, the Russian failed to win a third consecutive goal after a final in which she failed to clear a single height. Now the latest of last week, deadly gun and bomb attack in Nigerian city of Gombe. At least four people have been killed in the northern Nigerian city of Gombe in a gun and bomb attack on prison and police station officials say. Police say they repulsed the attack which they blamed on the radical Islamist sect Boko Haram. The group has carried out deadly attacks and assassinations across northern Nigeria in recent months. Earlier on Friday, gunmen killed five people at a mosque in Kano, the main city in northern Nigeria, police said. A police spokesman said the attackers arrived on motorcycles and opened fire at worshippers. And before we end today's bulletin of news analysis, let's have a recap of the main points. Afghan Holy Quran protests raise for fourth day. Dutch Prince Johan Frizu in coma after avalanche. Amitabh Bachchan back home after surgery. Australia leadership Ruth and Gillard set for showdown. 
Syria Unrest, Tunis Conference 6, Breakthrough. Sonia Gandhi refuses tax disclosure. And there we end today's bulletin of news analysis. Be with us in the coming weeks too. Thank you.